All right, well, let's go ahead out now to uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we'll talk with Ron. Hi, Ron. Hey, Dr. Farley. How you doing? Good. How are you? Okay. I, I heard you a few weeks ago say uh, that you had friends that disagreed with you, but that you were still friends with them, and I was glad that you said that. Yes, yes. What's on your mind today, friend? Well, I got into an argument with somebody, and uh, they said Jesus loves everybody. God loves everybody. Well, God said, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Uh huh. So I'm, I'm confused there. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah, I mean, that, that statement is quoted in Romans 9. So if we're talking about how God operates today in the Christian life or in life today after the cross, uh, a few things we want to get straight here. I mean, what's what's Romans 9 really about? Uh, Romans 9 is is quoting this Old Testament event, Jacob I loved, Esau I hated, and the reason that it's quoting that event, the reason Paul is bringing this up is to say, look, God can love whoever he wants. God can hate whoever he wants. God can do whatever he wants. And then, as you work your way uh, through Romans 9, you figure out what uh, Paul's end game is. What I mean by that is, where is Paul going with all of this? There's a certain place in Romans 9, smack dab there in the middle of Romans 9, where he says, so what shall we say then? And then he says that Gentiles who did not pursue God found God. Uh, so God's end game in arguing here. And Paul's end game in arguing here is that God can do whatever he wants. Jacob he loved, Esau he hated. So guess what? If he wants to love the Gentiles today and not just the Jews, God can do that. And that's exactly what he did through the cross. Uh, he says, you know what? When the Son of Man is lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself, not just Jews, but also Gentiles. So the whole world, you know, God's desire is that none perish but all believe so God's desire is that anyone and everyone call upon his name to be saved so I think that Romans 9 Jacob I loved Esau I hated is put there to argue that God can do whatever he wants he could have hated everybody if he wanted to he could have loved everybody if he wanted to and what he chose to do in this case is extend his love to anyone and everyone, including those dirty Gentiles, Ron, and that's you and me. I'm a Gentile. You're likely a Gentile. Anyone that's not a Jew is a Gentile. And for thousands of years, we had no hope, no covenant, no God. We were excluded from the commonwealth of Israel. And now, through Jesus hanging on that cross, he's brought the two into one. Jew and Gentile are now one new man in Christ, and there's unity for all nations and that's found in Jesus Christ so that's why he brings in Jacob I loved Esau I hated uh, in the Old Testament look it's clear as day uh, he walked with Israel he didn't walk with the Gentiles he loved Israel he even gave orders to kill Gentiles in cases uh, so you know in the Old Testament God did whatever he wanted he's God he's allowed to do, to do that in the New Testament God does whatever he wants He's allowed. He's God. He can do that. So in the New Testament, what Paul is defending is that those dirty Romans now get the gospel. Those dirty Ephesians now get the gospel. Those dirty Canadians now get the gospel. I can say that because my wife is Canadian. Those dirty Americans now get the gospel. And that is the good news of Romans 9, that God can do whatever he wants. And fortunately, he chose to unleash the gospel on anyone who will call on his name.